Hello and welcome to Total Health with Dr. Nick, where my purpose, if you're new to my show, is to inspire, empower, and motivate you to live longer, healthier, and more abundant lives. And guys, summer is here, and we are about to have some fun in the sun, but I know one of the biggest concerns I hear with any of my patients this time of the year is what about sun exposure? I hear the sun can give me cancer. I have to avoid the sun. If I get near the sun, there's a history of melanoma in my family. I can't get anywhere near it. I have to avoid it. You're lathering up all kinds of lotions and creams. Well guys, what I'm gonna to do today in this video is to hopefully dispel some of the myths about the sun so that you can get out and enjoy it. Turns out there's a lot of research been coming out between us in the United States, Norway, and England as to just how important it is to get in the sun. And I'm gonna be talking about some of those health benefits today, which things like fighting cancer, uh, things like better immune system, immune system strength, immune system healing. We're gonna be getting into bone health. So all these things we're gonna be talking about today. So let's go ahead and dive on in. Anyway, number one, the first thing we really need to look at when it comes to when is the safest time to tan and be in the sun, we have to really understand how the sun's rays hit the earth. It really looks like this. So when the sun's rays come in, there are some rays that directly come straight in, and there are rays that come in on angles. And we're gonna be talking about in a moment how important these direct rays are, and really which ones are beneficial for producing vitamin D, which ones are beneficial for fighting cancer, for bone health, things like that, and which ones actually cause melanoma. So let's get into that. Turns out that the rays that are coming in straight are the most beneficial. You would think, well, wait a minute, they're, they're the most direct. They're the ones that are hitting the earth with the greatest force and impact. Shouldn't we be getting some of the rays that are out to the sides because they're, you know, I've heard not to be in the sun and at the high noon because that's when the rays are most strong and they're gonna give me cancer. Turns out it's the exact opposite. The rays that are coming in directly at noon are what we call UVB rays. And UVB rays, or ultraviolet B, are a shorter wavelength, a shorter frequency. Those waves actually produce vitamin D in the body, can help you fight cancer, help strengthen your immune system, and they are the ones that you need to be under the most. And they are the ones that typically fall between the hours of about 10 to two. So yes, high noon is the time that you wanna be out in the sun the most. Turns out that the UVA rays that are coming in on more of an angle, remember we showed you how they come directly into the earth. Some of them come directly in, some come in on angles. The ones that are coming in before 10 and after two, those are UVA rays. And those are longer frequency, longer wavelength rays. And those are the ones that are directly linked to producing malignant melanoma. So this is the ones you don't want to get. So yes, what time is the safest to be in the sun? About high noon when you're told not to. Why? Because like I said, it is all the UVB, direct rays, shorter wavelength, the ones that are most health promoting and the ones that are the least cancer causing. Now, how long should you be in the sun? Well, that's gonna really depend on your ethnic background. My family's all Mediterranean, they're from Italy. I'm 100% Italian, so my skin's a little bit more made for this. Uh, you know, I can get out in the sun for 20 minutes, a half an hour, and I'll be golden brown pretty quickly. And, um, but my skin is made to be in the sun more, so I can do it longer. But some of you, maybe in England, Norway, some of the lighter Scandinavian skin people, you want to be in a little bit less. So how much is the adequate amount? About 20 minutes. So 20 minutes will be good. Work up to that. Maybe you can get up to a little bit more, but 20 minutes to start is good. And that'll get you good exposure. You want to have it to where you're getting skin exposure or sun exposure to you know, 60, 70% of your body. So don't think just because you're walking out, walking from your car to your work, you're getting some a little bit exposure on your face, that's enough. No, you wanna be outside with your shirt off, maybe doing some yard work, things like that, and getting some good exposure to all the parts of your body. Well, maybe not all the parts. <laughs> Watch out where you live. Anyway, for people like myself who have more of a, dark, more of a darker Mediterranean skin, skin complexion, we're good for two hours or so. I know I could be out in the sun a long time before I really feel any kind of a burn from it. And once again, you don't want to burn. You want to get a nice golden brown or a nice tan. If you need to do it maybe 20 minutes a day or two hours a day, a couple to a few days a week, then just go ahead and do that. You don't want to get it all at one shot. Now, like I said, it helps produce vitamin D. Well, why is vitamin D so important? Well, vitamin D is important for many, many reasons. Like I said, cancer prevention, things like that. But it supports the health of your immune system. I am convinced that one of the reasons why we tend to get sick 
in the winter more is because we're, we're really not out in the sun at all. We're not getting the vitamin D that our skin makes by getting direct exposure to the sun. Instead, we're under fluorescent lights at work, in our workplaces, in our cubicles. So yeah, there's extra stress in the fall because we have holidays coming up, a lot of you know, stress around those times, plus there's a, a lot of bad eating. But I still think one of the biggest reasons is we're not out in the sun. And you know you feel better when you get in the sun. In fact, being in the sun is not only related to being you know, healthier as far as your immune system, but also too it's been linked to when you don't have uh, adequate vitamin D, higher levels of depression and anxiety. So one of the things we recommend to all our patients is just to get out in the sun, walk around, breathe the fresh air, get out. When you get the sun on you, it helps to reduce your levels of anxiety and depression because you increase your levels of vitamin D. Regulates insulin levels so it actually can help with diabetes. Supports lung function and cardiovascular health. Influential in suppressing expression of genes involved in cancer. So once again, vitamin D helps cell-to-cell -cell communication so that way we can reduce our levels of cancer. Also, vitamin D has been directly related to higher levels, lower levels of cancer. And as I said before, maintenance of health. One of the ways that you get calcium into your bones is when it comes into your bloodstream. And one of the best ways to absorb calcium is when you have high levels of vitamin D. It's also great for phosphorus. So that way you can get stronger, healthier bones. So once again, vitamin D is excellent. Excellent at helping all of these health conditions, but at the same time, also very, very critical when it comes to cancer prevention. So, guys, I hope this is good information for you. Uh, if so, I know it's a kind of a shorter video than I normally do, but I really wanted to get it out because as we're getting into the summer, I know you're all going to be nervous about being in the sun. So, once again, if this is good information, please make sure you like, you share, you comment, and subscribe. So thanks so much for being part of my channel. I love and appreciate you. Get out in the sun, get some, get some beautiful sun exposure, get some nice tan, and enjoy the summer risk-free and feel no guilt about it. So have a great summer. God bless. See you soon. Bye-bye.